Well, I got a few emails. People didn't believe me that I was a cop, so I thought I'd show you what I look like as a cop. I'm getting ready to go to work. It's uh, it's late. I work third shift. It's when all the bad guys come out. So this is me in uniform, gun, everything. So I guess you gotta believe me, unless I'm just got this good costume. This is Frank, the one-eyed pirate, my kid's pet toad. It's only got one eye. We found it in the yard. Hmm. Well, to break from the norm, I, I thought we'd have ladies' night. It's Thursday night. And uh, look, Settlers of Catan. This is the Settlers of Catan, the card game. My and I. Let's uh, see the box cover. Here's the box cover. Here's the expansion cards, which we never use. I would say don't spend the money on them. We hardly ever use them. This is the base game. Yes, it's Settlers of Catan, but it's actually fun. <laughs> uh, Two player. Um, these are your. Each player starts off with a uh, starting hand, which will be a road, uh, two, two two towns and two roads. I'll show you that in a minute. Then there's your random events that you do each turn. Here's your piles that you draw from um, for cards, and then you know you have upgrades. You know you have your city, your villages, your roads, and these are your uh, hard to explain, but these are your land. And it's the same thing as settlers, where you have, you know, wheat, rock, clay, sheep, whatever. And uh, all right. Hi, I'm Monica. Joe's significant other. <laughs> I have my initial setup for my settlers game. The setup has all of my resources that I can get. You have wheat, ore, sheep, which is wool. Oh, I'm glad you specified it what? was wool. <laughs> Could <Wood>. mutton. <laughs> Keep going. Wood. wood. She's got wood. Keep going. Clay and gold. So this is my initial setup. My goal is to take my little city here. I got two towns with a road in the middle, and to expand it this way. Mm -hmm. So I'll need two more roads here because roads have to go between the towns, and then another town here and here and eventually turn my towns into cities. Also, these blank spaces here are for the expansions to my town, such mm -hmm. as aqueducts, brigades, mm -hmm. whatever. Not brigades, but... And then, what you do is when you roll a die, you look at the bottom of your, your cards to see how many of each resource you have. But if I rolled a two, I would get another ore. Then I would have two ore. Pretty simple. Yeah. So you just rotate the card, right? Sure. And what happens if it's full? And if it's full, you're got to spend it. You don't get extra of that. Right. And then uh, the way you spend it is by rotating it clockwise. Therefore, I have no more. And you spend it to buy things. So like, if you wanted to buy a road, explain that. Like I said, the roads have to go between towns. Mm -hmm. That's where I'd want to put the road. On the back, it has your symbols. It has two clay and a wood. So this is what you would actually need, two clay and a wood. Okay, so you can just rotate those and put your card down. Right. So if you start with two clay, you go to zero clay. Me and Rumsfeld will explain the next part, my Rumsfeld mug. Anyway, <laughs> now these here are the uh, tokens. These are worth victory points. They, go, they trade places back and forth during the game. Whoever has the most knights on the board, and you can play knights into your towns or cities to protect them, or it gets this one, just to control this, and whoever has the most commerce gets the windmill. And commerce are uh, some of the expansion cards, the buildings will have a commerce symbol on them. So whoever has the most commerce symbols gets this, and that's a victory point. Whoever has a knight gets that. Now here's your dice. One's just your typical number. The other one is the event dice. If you roll a question mark, you draw a question mark card, and different events happen to both players. If you draw a commerce, the person who has the commerce gets something special. I forget what it is, though. Extra resource? Oh, yeah, they get extra resources. Yeah. If yeah, you possess the windmill token, you receive one resource of your choice from your opponent. Well, that's right, you get to steal a resource. And if you roll the billy club, what happens? The brigand attack. If you have more than seven unprotected resources, you lose all of your ore and wool. And you protect your resources with putting uh, expansion cards out. One of those expansions is a uh, is a uh, fortress, or no, a fortress, uh, garrison. a garrison, which will protect things. Uh, if you roll... You start with six. 
so you don't have to worry about it until you get another six, town. Because every time you get another town... We're six. Oh, you six mean resources. resources. One, yeah, six resources. Right. Every time you get another town, you get another two resources. So if you have eight resources because you got a new town, then you definitely have to get a garrison or another building. Right. If you roll the knight's head, this is the tournament. And whoever controls the, uh, the token here, what happens? You receive one resource of your choice, Joe. <laughs> okay, Monica. <laughs> All right. And what about... There's one left, right? Yep. Yep. And there's this one. The Year of Plenty. What is that? The Year of Plenty... Uh, gives each player one resource of their choice. And this is something they should have in the real game. All right. All right. I think we're ready to go. Now we have to see who the starting player is. You know, you could just roll the die. Monica and I, we like to arm wrestle. <laughs> Actually, we go by who won the last game uh, of any game we played. Who was that? We didn't finish the last game we played. What was the last game? Twilight Struggle? No. Yeah, we played, um, what did we played yesterday? We didn't finish it. What game was it? Some... Victoria Cross. Yeah. Victoria's Cross. The Battle of Rourke's Drift. We only got halfway through because it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. All right, well, we'll just roll dice, so let's see who goes first. <laughs> ah! As Sam Healy would say, the dice gods do not love me. Go ahead. Oh! So, she goes first. So she gets to pick one of the piles, and then she gets to go through it and choose three cards of her wanting, and she doesn't mix them up. She just goes through them, takes out three, puts the cards back without uh, shuffling them. Then I choose a different stack and do the same thing at the same time. Now these are the basic four types of cards that you can get in expansions. The first one is uh, your basic building. It's got your cost to build up a top. This has the victory point value if uh, you have it built, plus whatever it does to your, every building adds a special kind of thing. This particular building here, this says reduces the cost of selecting the card of your choice, because during your turn you can actually select the card of your choice by uh, one resource, so that's a good card to have. And that's uh, your basic building card, but see how it's red? That means you can only build this building in a city. Now whereas this one is a green card, so you can build this one in a village, um, this is your basic garrison, which you need to protect against the what? The Bregans? <laughs> Whatever they're called. And uh, this down here is a commerce symbol. Remember I told you the person who has the most commerce symbols will um, get that token, the extra victory points. Then there's the Knights. The Knights, uh, this, is the, this, is the, this is expensive. This is Carl the Strong. Woe when he is unleashed. It's got his value of 7, his attack value. And then uh, the tournament value. Uh, the tournament is uh, the red. The, the red that one I showed you on a dice when that is rolled. The winner of the tournament, who has got the most tournament points, can do that. All right, um, and he's expensive. And then the last thing is you have these immediate, these yellow cards are immediates, things that you can do to your play uh, the opponent. Like this, you can build down or uh, burn down an opponent's building, which is pretty evil. And Joe is off to an early lead. I've already got a city Ooh. and an extra village. As for Monica. Has a road. And I'm hoping that we have the garrison. Sure. How's that feel? If the brigand, the brigand come, you're a dead meat dude. Have I mentioned that uh, Monica's pregnant? Notice the <laughs> hey. chocolate wrappers, the popcorn. That's your idea. Why are you putting popcorn back <laughs> in the wall? <laughs> well, Monica's turned the tables. She's one point from winning. I don't know who I was trying to fool. What happened? I won. Yeah. Freed you. Yeah. She kicked my tail. I did. It's all because of I miss did something wrong and. Yeah, I can't believe there's not three garrisons. Yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah, it's a pretty fun game. It took us about what an hour to play, hour and a half. What time is it? An hour and a half. Hour and a half. It's a good two-player game. An hour and